what if we have on prem and online okay good question what's the difference if you have on prem and if you uh, have uh, cloud license uh, the major difference is that maintenance of the server so uh, if you are deploying it on prem you will have to have a server and then uh, on that server you will have to manage everything by yourself for an example uh, let's say due to a, a sudden power outage or due to a malfunction of your ups the suddenly the uh, vm or the server crashes and uh, when you boot up your database is corrupt so all the work you have done up to now is gone so because of those instances because of those possibilities you will have to maintain regular backups of your uh, database and uh, again you will have to keep the os up to date you have to keep the console up to date then you have to keep the agent up to date then the security product should be updated to the latest version likewise there is a lot to do but uh, if you are getting the uh, cloud console the main thing is you don't have to worry about maintaining the os or you don't have to uh, maintain the hardware everything is provided by eset and the, they will uh, every day you will have the latest version of your console and the agent uh, upgrades uh, product upgrades everything will be automated so your life will be much easier as the admin uh, so it will be much less work and much less uh, probability of failure uh, when it comes to cloud console next thing can we install eset on cloud server like azure yes you can uh, then again uh, if you are going to purchase your own cloud instance and put the uh, eset protect server that will i don't think that will be cost effective and uh, again uh, you will have to create uh, create your own backups maintain your own backups and uh, do all the housekeeping work by yourself so in that context i believe the move into the cloud console would be much uh, much much uh, cheaper compared to maintaining your own cloud instance but the installation will be the same so if you deploy it on a bare metal if you deploy it on a vm or if you deploy it on a cloud that that doesn't matter uh, the installation will be the same uh, but the it's the amount of work and the administration overhead that you have to consider can i upgrade our eset version 7.23 to 9 directly skipping update in 8 i think that's possible does the central bank allow using cloud version for banks uh, this is a tough question however uh, currently there are so many banks that i know of leading banks including uh, few uh, government banks which are using the uh, cloud version of the product if not ours even uh, competitor products which are the of the cloud version so how can push third party software through the eset console office and etc you cannot eset uh, this pushing of uh, software is made only for eset products it's uh, not to be used with any other products but again if you if you use your head if you are smart then you can uh, create your packages in that way and you can execute them uh, using the eset console so there's no restriction but there's no 100% guarantee that it will be executed 100% uh, uh, successfully because this this tool is not uh, meant to be used with third party software is there edia solution in eset yes eset's edia solution is called eset uh, enterprise inspector uh you can eset enterprise inspector you can go on and have a look at uh, uh, the website and all that after that uh, if you are interested uh, we can conduct a separate session uh, there are so many products that eset carry let me 
give you an example. So like you can see in this uh, particular slide, the EPP is the EZ Protect console. So apart from that, there are another five products that EZ carry under its uh, logo. So there are two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication solution called EZ Secure Authentication, which is in the light green box. Then the red one is EZ Endpoint Encryption. If you want to encrypt your hard drives or maybe uh, encrypt uh, particular selected folders files and all those so that's available if you want to encrypt your email communication if you want to when you are taking your documents and confidential data on your usb drives if you want to encrypt them that can be done likewise so that's uh, is it endpoint encryption product so these all of these are standalone products so you can purchase separately. Even if you have a competitor AV running on it, this can be uh, run with them uh, without any issue. DLP is called uh, safety car. Data loss prevention means uh, we are preventing documents to be leaked out of your organization. So it could be leaked out uh, as uh, from the uh, emails, from uh, pen drives, could be from uh, so let me show you a quick slide, then it's easy to describe. Here you can see the ways that it can be leaked out. So it could be from copy pasting, could be Bluetooth transfer, could be uploaded into a, a cloud service likewise. So we, uh, we can protect, prevent those uh, type of data leakages. Uh, through this solution. Apart from that, with working from home in effect, if the superiors want to uh, understand how much uh, time you are spending uh, on the office platform, how much time you are spending on uh, YouTube, how much you are spending on browsing the uh, web, likewise. So if you want to know that, then uh, I was saying that if you uh, if the administration wants to monitor the uh, performance and the uh, utilization of your time, then that couldn't be done with this DLP product. And uh, when it comes to NDR, ED, so we have a EDR. EDR stands for Endpoint Detection and Response. Similarly, we have an NDR product, Network Detection and Response product called Gracotex Mendel. So it's uh, Mendel is uh, Mendel captures all the uh, network traffic analyzers and it automatically uh, gives you detections based on the uh, using AI and ML algorithms. So there's nothing to be configured. It's all all automated. The only thing you have to do is uh, send a uh, send a copy of your mirror traffic uh, towards that box. So it's a hardware device like a firewall. So it will uh, analyze all uh, traffic and uh, prompt you with all the detections. EDR on the other hand, uh, it's the ne uh, next level of detections for, uh, where you can uh, customize the detection and all that. So we will be arranging another session where we uh, explain and discuss all the uh, all these solutions with our customers and uh, introduce the benefits of them to uh, this ecosystem since you are you are already using EZ products. 